Earth Exodus. There's a plan to alter Earth's orbit to escape being devoured by our dying sun. How is that possible? This is by Tom Fish on Express UK. Well, we all know that the sun has a life span, and it's in the middle of the lifespan right now. Earth's orbit may one day need to be altered, they say, to escape from being devoured by its dying sun. An engineer has devised some ingenious solutions to achieve this. Man-made climate change is an immediate concern. Uh, others say it could be, of course, earth changes such as uh, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes. Meaning a global warming apocalypse appears increasingly likely, having to do with climate changes, some say, but the planet's long-term prognosis is even more devastating. The sun will one day run out of fuel and it will expand, most likely destroying the Earth in 5 billion years. So moving the Earth to a wider orbit in order to escape this oblivion may seem like a far-fetched solution, but an engineer has now outlined several theories in order to escape this dire event. Uh, now, of course, I'm concerned because I don't think it's possible, but anyway, scientists know that the sun will one day change from its current state to a red giant, a star far larger than its current size, and this expansion will eventually, the expansion will eventually reach Earth's, Earth's orbit, rendering it totally uninhabited and inhabitable in uh, about five billion years. Now, in an extreme case of future planning, the uh, University of Glasgow space engineer Dr. Matteo Ceriotti proposes radical solutions to help Earth change orbit. As we can understand, these proposals have to be very extreme. Now, he has this example. The Earth's mass is so large that we do not have enough power to move the planet using conventional rocket propulsion, of course. The radical ideas are loosely based on current technologies, what we have now, although it's safe to assume any surviving humans will have significantly advanced science, hopefully, by then. Dr. Chirotti said, I've come up with a thought experiment about what we could do with our current technology in order to move the orbit of Earth farther away, and we could say towards the orbit of Mars, for example. This is approximately 1.5 times the radius of Earth's current orbit in order to keep the Earth habitable in the future. One such idea is targeting asteroids which pass by Earth's vicinity and then using the space rocks gravitational attraction to pull the orbit of the Earth away from its current location. Dr. Chirotti said, with this idea we would need a huge number of spacecraft to be able to fly to asteroids and then divert the asteroids into an orbit that passes within Earth's vicinity. Another way would be to shoot the asteroid with an ion beam and the ion beam would push the asteroid away from its orbit. Other methods involve simply landing on the asteroid and then turning on a rocket on its surface in order to eject material. This is called a mass drive. Or we could deploy a constellation of mirrors around the asteroid and the mirrors would reflect the sun's light onto its surface. The surface of the asteroid would sublimate or turn into gas and this gas would provide the force to move the asteroid away. But the simplest one is simply impacting the asteroid with a spacecraft, and this is called a kinetic impactor, end quote. But asteroids are not the only available option, although they would be involved in building a solar sail, a large reflective sheet capturing the momentum of light from the sun, and use the momentum to push the planet forward. Uh, but as Dr. Chirotti explains, it, this requires size would be huge, several times the diameter of our Earth. He said, at the moment we cannot even envisage how we could build such a large solar sail on the ground and then send it into space where it would be deployed. But in the future we may develop technologies in which we can actually build structures directly in space. And 
Some of this research is actually being conducted here in Glasgow University. We may also, for example, be able to move an asteroid into Earth's vicinity and then be able to extract its material. And then using automated 3D printing in space, you can use the resulting material to create a solar sail in space. And the final proposal is the construction of huge solar power plants capable of converting the light of the sun into electric power. And then this power could be converted into lasers, which would then be shot into space in order to move the Earth. And then he added, these theories are essentially based on physics and the consideration of fundamental physics. This is not something which is going to change in the next billion years. And although new technologies may be developed, the physics is not going to change, end quote. Uh, all right, so basically what the conclusion of this is that there is no way to move the Earth. Even if you try to harness an asteroid, how are you going to get the asteroid to come to you first to do that? <laughs> uh, for the life of me, sometimes I don't understand how they come up with these ideas, but I guess scientists have to have these out-of-this-world ideas uh, in order to achieve anything. Um, so anyway, this is on Express UK. I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.